You should put every plant on a tile and every zombie on a tile and see who wins. Okay, let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Today, we're gonna do some more hacking in this game, so thank you for leaving some suggestions on the last episode, and thank you for hitting the like button on this one. All right, so uh, I have a whole bunch of comments here, guys, so I'm gonna read those and uh, see what you want me to do. First of all, we got uh, planting plants during walnut bowling. I wonder what would happen. I also wonder what would happen there. What, what would happen if you did that? Let's, let's give it a try and see if it like breaks the game or something. Okay, Walnut Bowling. We'll start a new game. It's all good. And now, we're gonna get the plant spawner going here, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put a plant down. I'm gonna put a pea shooter down. Uh, and may maybe, maybe all the columns. Oh no, that's wrong. Hold on, restart. I just got confused because I saw that there was a sixth row. What? You can put plants down there? Well, that feels like cheating. <laughs> Says the guy hacking the game. Okay. Uh, well, let's go with uh, let's go with the third row, all with the third column, all rows, and go. I wonder if you can. No, they won't even shoot. No, you gotta shoot, dude. So far, so good. Apparently, he's just they're just gonna eat. The plants act like the walnuts. Oh, and can we spawn zombies as well? Perhaps we can. Go. Oh, uh, did we should we should spawn them a little further over. Go. Get them. There's the answer to that one, guys. If you do it, they eat. The, the, this happens. This comment says, Cobb cannons only or only use the plants Dave gives you. So I thought maybe let's try and use the plants Dave gives me. That's not going to be very hard to do, but there's probably going to be levels where it won't work. Okay, free planting is on. Uh, they're going to make me fill the rest of the slots because they're just a bunch of s silly silly things so we're not gonna use them but here we'll just put them in there anyway okay so this this obviously wouldn't be an issue guys i mean you know it's not very hard to win a level with uh a bunch of repeaters like come on okay now we can just speed it up 10x speed and it's not it's just not gonna give us any trouble here comes a wave of zombies oh no oh gosh guys level one is so hard oh dave why did you only give me these plants man oh geez dave Final wave. It's just it's just so nice to watch, isn't it? Okay, but what about what about level one two? That's a whole bunch of regular old zombies, guys, and we have snow peas, cabbage bolts, and torchwood. Right. Some really fantastic things right there, huh? Place plant. Place plant. Place plant. 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 That's a lot of plants now, obviously. And go. It's same thing. I mean, the only way we have any problems is if Dave decided to suggest nothing but like support units you know like oh here's a pumpkin and a walnut and uh yeah, yeah torch wood like i would i wouldn't be able to beat the level then okay so um yeah if you plant if you plant the just the plants dave gives you you, you might get screwed at some point but uh probably not likely because it keeps giving you at least one thing you can kill zombies with if you do another hack video you can go into the paper zombies mode thing i forgot what it's called and you can spawn giga gargantuars and other zombies okay here go ahead and get to it oh that feels good, man. Boom. I don't even want this. Why did I? Oh. I'm shooting my cob cannon, guys. Very nice. So my cob cannon, I'm assuming. It's weird that you can even use this cob cannon, but it can't do any damage to the plants, obviously. Absolutely slamming. Good job. I don't personally feel like continuously cheating on iZombie. I don't really feel like that's going to be all that fun, but it definitely works. I wonder if there's any like really good zombies for that now. Oh, 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 oh. bro, that's what we want. Get them squash zombies. And they actually work on the plants. That is, that is nutty, man. Look at that. It's just an army of squash zombies squashing everything. Those dudes are big. Oh, wait, can you not? Oh, they can't eat because they don't got mouths. <laughs> Sorry, squashy boys. You failed. Can you guys eat brains? They can eat brains. Nice, dude. I wonder, can Dr. Zomboss actually beat this guy? Dr. Zomboss is on you, bro. You gotta do it. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's harsh, Dr. Zomboss. That's some saucy stuff right there, bro. Hey, listen, we got a problem. We got a chomper down here. You gotta put the chomper down there. Or I gotta, gotta get rid of the chomper down there. He's gonna die too. Oh, 
Dr. Zambas, you gotta win. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. I think maybe uh, Gargantuar was a smart move there. Gargantuar with a zombie. Slam it. Okay, boom, got it. Okay, wow, um, kudos, to Dr. Zombas. Okay, that's definitely my favorite thing that's happened so far, guys. Um, what else can Dr. Zombas do? All right, guys, uh, next comment here I want to read. This is uh, more of a question. Is it possible to have zombies that have plants from the late game on their head, like a starfruit zombie or something? I don't think so, because they're not in the game, so I can't spawn them. I don't think there's any way for me to do some sort of crazy Dr. Frankenstein stuff, so. Hmm. However, somebody said, try hypnotizing the Zombotany zombies because something interesting happened. Oh, well, that guy's gonna kill, probably. Are you gonna kill? Oh, he killed just in time, dang it. Oh, these guys are gonna get me. Should have put it up further. Oh, there he goes. He's still, sh he's shooting backwards? What the heck, man? Why is that guy shooting backwards? What? What's going on here? Okay, hang on. I mean, we could do this. We could just, you know, we can summon those zombies if we want. And then, and then hypnotize a bunch of them. And we can see if any of the zombies will actually work properly. All right, but mushrooms awake on. So now we can place uh, hypno shrooms like this. And then we can place zombies. Oh, when you put the zombie in there, he, uh, he gets a little floaty. That's so sweet. Aw, little pool party. We have a couple more. We got these guys who did not work. What the, guys? Because they can't eat. That's why. These guys can't eat. They don't got mouths. Hilarious. What about you? Okay, that's just that one. And then we have... Uh, oh, that's a Giga Gargantuar. I don't know. I don't think we can hypnotize a Giga Gargantuar. I don't feel like that's a possibility. Okay, fine. Great. Well, that was a little interesting. Okay, next up, guys. Uh, you should plant like 50 star fruit on one tile. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. We're going to try that in Survival Endless. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's 50, guys. I got 50 of these dudes here. They're having a good time, but uh, we got a bit of a problem here. The balloony boys are going to kill me eventually. Luckily, uh, somehow lawnmowers can take care of the balloony boys. I don't know how either, but it is a thing. So if there were no balloony boys, let's say we completed this level and we got to a level where there were none. I would like to know. If we uh, used every row, would that be better? If, I mean, yes, of course it'd be better, but would we, would, we be, would, would we be good then? That should be enough. And then we will change the round because I want to go a little crazy here, guys. I'm going to change it to 100 flags completed, okay? Go, go. More zombies approaching. Here we go. Bad times ahead, folks. I just know it. All right, here they come. Oh, man. Look at all those stars. Look at them all. No, we're definitely still going to. Yeah, okay. If you hit the lawnmowers, I call that a loss for me. They just can't do it, guys. They're just not good enough. How sad. 50 star fruit. Actually, not that great. Actually, not that great at all. Stack spike rocks in every lane and see what happens. LOL. Okay, well, I think the uh, Giga Gargantuars will will just go right through them. These guys might actually be able to be wiped out if I just go ahead and place plant. Do that a couple times. Maybe you get a whole... Oh, that's... Uh, I just got a lot. I'm very sorry. Now, if these guys, when they hit the uh, spike rocks, they needed them a couple times. So does that mean it's a single... Like, does that mean if you hit if you hit a pile of spike rocks twice, you'll get rid of them all? We may never know, guys. I think I may have gone a little too crazy here. Of course, the balloon guys are just gonna go ahead and uh, take care of everything while I look for a doom shroom and... Oh, there it is. Oh! That was pretty doomy, man! That was pretty doomy! Um, and, uh, and now we can... Maybe just put a few spike rocks in instead. Just just a couple. I mean, these guys should end up dead. Pogo guy's not doing too bad, but he got a good head start. And again, the balloon guys ruin my life every time. Back to the beginning of Survival Endless or something. What else you got for me? Place a lot of cattails in one tile and see how many waves it can get through. Okay, this is something I tried to do um, the first time. I, uh, I did a hacked PVZ video, because this is episode number three, actually. If you want to check out the other ones, link down below. Uh, but I couldn't do it with the hacks I was using, because for some reason, cattails couldn't be placed on top of each other. Let's just do a three and a four, and go. Okay. I'm just going to keep clicking until I don't feel like clicking anymore. I don't know if it's going to be 50 or maybe more than 50. All of those that are coming out, they just drift off as soon as the zombie dies. 
Is that going to be an issue for us? I don't know. Maybe. Speed it up a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, it's so nice to watch, man. And I'm surprised at how smooth it is. I thought it was going to completely break my PC because I have so many of these guys. But then again, placing a whole bunch on every tile definitely would would uh, would stack up a lot quicker. Now, the question is, if you had put the cattails in different tiles, would they have worked a lot better? Perhaps even just a full column. So let's try that instead. We still have that same problem. They focus in on one zombie. Can you not? I mean, I wouldn't want to be that zombie, but man. Now we have like things that are kind of focusing on their own lanes a little bit, which is way, way, way better. And let me go ahead and uh, pro I'll probably go to 10. 10 rounds here. Uh, let's just see what happens with 20 flags and uh, a bunch of gargantuars and all that good stuff. Oh, thank you. Because it already looks like it's getting a little tricky, guys. Can they do it? Can they beat round 11? These guys are coming fast, man. You better watch it. Ooh, baby. Yo, I, I, feel, like, I feel like they're not going to pull this off, man. I feel like... Well, we already have... Wow. I didn't realize that. One lane has already been wiped out. Wait, is that one cattail left up here? Oh, the poor guy. Okay, maybe we've got a problem then. Oh, they are holding on by a threat right now. I'm so sorry. You, you got this. They got this, guys. They got this. They got this. It's okay. I heard somebody take a goal. It's okay. Get the thing before he dies. Before, before we die. What? Don't ask questions. We're perfectly fine. I want to try that, but more, uh, more columns, okay? So let's do one, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, let's give that a shot. See what happens, huh? Don't come closer. Don't you dare come any closer. I could make the zombies weak with cheats. I could hack. I, I could hack the zombies so they're weaker. Could be a thing. Okay, somebody just took a gulp out of me. It's crazy. You'd think this would be good enough, man. You would think this would be good enough, but it just isn't. You guys, it's the first wave, huh? Okay. I I don't think you can get through it. I don't think you will. I think what we've really done here is give the zombies more opportunity to kill you. Because you're more... And... Wow. Makes you wonder, guys, what is the strongest... Like, what is, what is the thing that can survive the best if you put a whole bunch of those in a whole bunch of rows. I think I know, although I, I still think they'll have a problem. I still think these guys will be like, oh man, we're slowly dying. Let's do the same thing. We'll do a one, two, three, four, five for the first four rows. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, so we, we, we're gonna do the endless round thing again. Get those flags completed. Then we won't worry about that guy. He's gonna be, yeah, get it going. Turbo speed, yeah. All right, so. These guys are not going to get anywhere close, right? That's not an issue. They're not going to be able to eat these guys because there's just such a huge concentration of these bad boys, right? They just they just die. Nobody's getting close enough to take a bite. There they are. The balloon zombies ruining my life, guys. Now, what could we do about that? Um, wait, can we... What we can do about that, if we really want to, is we can get, like, a few cattails as a treat. Do that. Go. Now we have enough cattails to take care of the balloon zombies. Right. Now we won't die because we would have died without it. We, we know we would have so Now we can take out huge concentrations of zombies if we want and we can also take out any balloony boys that come our way Pop pop. That's what I like to see. That's wonderful. I love this Get a Oh, they got one They got one. You know what that means guys If they can get one they can get them all. It's, it's just a it's just a fact Okay, so even with the cattails we couldn't do it Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Okay, I think we can do one more guys and if there's anything that you, that you thought of in this video and you're like man Like I think Matt needs to try it out. Just leave a comment and hit hit like on the comments that you uh, that you Want to see me read and try in the next episode of PVZ hacked or PVZ with hacks or whatever Okay, but uh, there's a couple more guys. I I want to I want to address this one I have a suggestion try spawning a mimic potato with the cheat and see what it turns into I don't know if it'll turn into anything to be honest. Okay, uh, you can put in an imitator uh whatever you want if you just want it to be an imitator it could be an imitator like that right um you want to do this you can have you know potato whatever um go to a different column here see you can make anything an imitator but you can't you can't place an imitator on its own i'm sorry you should put every plant on a tile and every zombie on a tile and see who wins okay let's do it every plant here 
and let's put every zombie here and we'll see what happens we won't put dr zomboss in because that's not we can't can't do that okay we can maybe we will maybe maybe we maybe we'll put them in okay just for the hell of it it's going to take me a minute guys so uh row two column three let's go the cob cannon man always the odd one out because it takes up two tiles uh, okay so that's that's every plant guys there it is every every plant <laughs> now we're gonna go to the eighth column and we're gonna do the same thing with all the zombies okay the zombies are supposed to be spawning go oh dear there they are even the boss himself the big man what is he taking what are you taking away my man oh nothing because i spawned you okay great there's a yeti over here um uh, doctor excuse me Do whoa okay dr zomboss can you maybe not can you, can you maybe not do what you're doing at the moment with the zombies being placed down? I mean, it's no big deal, really. But can you not? Am, am I gonna die or am I gonna live? I still don't know. This guy in the back doing the catapults, he can't get me. He can't get me. I thought this was gonna be bad, but oh, they got him. They got him. Uh, just don't go in the middle. As long as you don't go in the middle, we should be all right. I don't know, like, this guy, does he have health? Who knows? Will we have a problem because of that? I don't know. That Bucket guy at the top could actually end us completely. So hopefully by the time Bucket Man gets here, uh, to, you know, to, to the end, I'll have another cop cannon. Keep going. You got this. They don't, they don't got this, guys. This is bad. This is bad. And this is my fault, too. This is my fault. Tell you what, I'm gonna blow him up, okay? I'm gonna blow him up because that was my fault. And hypothetically, if I didn't do that, we would have been just fine. Don't throw a van at me. That could actually end me completely. What are you picking up? What are you guys doing over here? Nothing. He might be the guy. The ladder guy might... I can't I can't get him because there's a gargantua here. Man! Okay, everybody stop. More zombies approaching. Okay. I don't know if we can actually kill this guy. Yo, this guy's got to be so low now, guys. Look at him. He is hurting. There he goes. Okay. Nope, wait. Is he... He's not dead. He was just sending out a big ball of ice. Got him! Okay, yeah, you I, you can't kill Dr. Zomboss with just every plant planted on one tile, guys. You can get the rest of them, no big deal, but Dr. Zomboss makes things a little bit complicated. Are you just gonna stay here now, Dr. Zomboss? I mean, that's cool if you just wanna stay here. I'm just gonna, just gonna hang out with my pal, Dr. Zomboss. Yo, what's up, guys? Me, hanging out with my friend, Dr. Zomboss. He just wanted you to know, even though he's dead, he wanted you to know that he's really happy that you left a like on this video. He really hopes you enjoyed it. Uh, these are his words, not mine, obviously. And he says something about how if you're not subscribed, you sub subscribe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he means by that. It's, it's up to interpretation. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.